101. And that is, acknowledge your positive past. We have got a habit of not remembering anything where we have succeeded or where we have done really well and only remember things where we have failed, where we, have, where we have been unsuccessful. My friend, I have a habit that I look back on my life like a good day's work. It is done and I am satisfied with it. Most people in our culture remember their failures more than, more than their success. It's a result of the uh, attitude we have developed or we have acquired from our ancestors. Yeah, leave them alone. It doesn't matter. Life goes on. It's okay. Approach to parenting, I would say. Parenting, teaching and management that is so prevalent in other cultures all, all over the world. When, remember, when you were a child, your parents left you alone when you were playing with your uh, uh, other friends, other children friends. And then they uh, really, when you go back home, dirty, uh, your, your, your dirty clothes are uh, injured, instead of uh, appreciating that you have played well, they start admonishing you. And you remember nothing, no game, no playing, no nothing, but the admonishment of the parents you remember. When you come back home after the report card of uh, your exams, if all the first, first, first thing the parents see is the, in the subjects where you get less marks. They won't be happy in a subject A or B where you get the highest marks, the good marks, but they're more concerned on the subjects where you have scored less and bringing down the percentage or bringing down the grade. You remember only the uh, negatives. You, you see all those things. Then there was almost, uh, and uh, you, you, you'll find that there'll be in, in, in sports, you get, you get yelled when you drop the football or the basketball or miss the pass or whatever, you get yelled by everybody. They almost, there was almost always more emotional intensity around your errors, there is around your errors, my friend. The more intentional emotional response around, around your mistakes and failures than there was around your real successes or uh, uh, good things. Why? It is simply because the brain more easily remembers events that, are, that were accomplished by strong emotions. Most people underestimate and underappreciate the numbers of successes they have had in their relations to the number of failures. I do a one of the exercise in most of my seminars and workshops and I ask the participants, each participant to share a success they have had in the last, in, in the past week. It's always amazing to see how difficult uh, them for, for them to remember uh, those successes or uh, those good things. Many people even uh, they don't think even that they've, they've had any kind of success or uh, uh, good event. It is always amazing to see the, how difficult uh, for people to remember their uh, achievements. They can only easy, easily tell you, very easily they tell you the 10 ways they, need, they messed up in the last one week. But they have a much harder time telling you 10 victories they had. My friend, the sad truth is that we all have many more victories than failures. It's just that we uh, set the uh, bar too high for that, we call a success. My friend, start acknowledging your positive past. You will see the difference that uh, your performance will go up and try to forget your failures. It's a very natural process. You try something, sometimes you succeed, sometimes you fail. But acknowledging your positive past is one of the finest way to keep yourself motivated, to keep yourself going and ultimately succeed. I, the habit I have and I uh, follow very strictly 
I look back on my life, like I said in the beginning, like a good day's work. It is done and I am satisfied with, with it, my friend. Acknowledge your positive past. Thank you very much.